So as you can see, you have a 63700 I took out of the box. I plugged in the Wi-Fi antenna. I'm going to now plug it to the TV and plug in my wireless keyboard and the PAR cable. So let's start it up. So the first thing you see is actually we land on the activation page. But the first thing what we want to do is actually press on escape. And we're now actually going to go configure the date and time and then connect it to a network so that we can activate the sticks on the server. So as you can see, I go into the first gear icon to go into the settings. Now I'll go into device preferences and then date and time. You want to make sure that the automatic date and time is disabled. And then select the right time zone for your location. This is a preference which you can enable or not using the 24 hour format. Personally, I do. And now the next step is to connect it to our Wi Fi network. So I'm just going to go into the Wi Fi and then turn it on. All right, so let me just put quickly my password. All right, so that's a good sign. Let me just press escape to get back into the home screen. So the main thing which we need to start is with memory conductor. So in this method, what we're going to choose is the simplified method. And for our demo purposes, I'm going to activate statistics on our SAS platform. So the first thing you want to do is click on the check as soon as you press the put in the domain or the location of your server. And then using your username and password for the server, we will be able to retrieve a license key. So as you can see, as soon as it has checked the username and password, it will display avail the list of available licenses on your server. So I'm just going to choose the first one available here. I'm able to choose directly the name of the player. So I'm just going to give it a personalized name. So the last check to do is the time zone. Since we have already defined this in the settings, we just need to click on check. All right. So for my connection, there is no settings to be done on the proxy settings. And then I have a setting for CC display control. This is in order to control the screen on and off. So let me just click on true and then click on activate. Once it has completed the activation, the sticks will reboot and then be ready to use. So the first thing you're going to see is we're going to see the home screen and then we're going to see some clouds with some blue skies. This means that the device has been activated and is connected to the QL SaaS platform. So as you can see, Nubri Engine has launched and we see the famous clouds. This means the device is ready to receive and publish content. 